Hello and welcome back fellow LEGO fans, Jordan here. Today we have a little LEGO City update mainly having to do with the Ninjago district which is right over there. In some of my more recent videos here you'll know that I bought and built the Ninjago City docks that you can see paired up right here with Ninjago City which I believe to be two of the best pairing LEGO sets ever created. As we all know the Ninjago district sits right here right across from the big train station here that services both the amusement park and the Ninjago area. And I've placed the Ninjago City and Ninjago City docks right here um, and what I've done is I've actually gave it a little bit of space I think it's three or four studs so I've ran plates all along here three or four studs which gives it a little bit of a gap between um, the walkways here in the Ninjago district and uh, the buildings itself and then I've actually built a little custom bridge here that you can see uh, or a little staircase that goes uh, from the main grounds here in the Ninjago area which is still under construction and sort of links to the Ninjago City. I really really like these sets and I really like the way that this area is coming to life here slowly but uh, surely haven't had a lot of time to put here into the Lego City recently because I'm into a busy season but all in good time we will slowly get this put together. So this is the main grounds here of the Ninjago district which will eventually host a bunch of different Ninjago sort of Asian themed uh, vendors and I do plan on putting a bunch of different vendors in here one right here where all you see these Ninjago ninjas sitting right here and then one right there where you see the cart from the Temple of Air Jitsu set and then also I believe six more in the train station. So one here, one on either side of that pillar, one on either side of that pillar, and one on the far side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. So I will be building eight little structures or vendors for this area in the not so far future here once I acquire the bricks and time required to do that. So I really do like the way that I've placed these buildings, uh, Ninjago buildings here in the Ninjago district. I think they do look perfect because you can actually see all sides of them being such beautiful structures here, uh, Lego structures. It's nice that I can see all the different size, uh, sides and angles of these buildings uh, with the way they are um, placed here in the Ninjago district. Now also here in the Ninjago district uh, it's placed in water obviously because it does have that water, those trans blue elements going around the base of the set. So I figured that this has to remain uh, consistent and that these buildings have to be placed in water. So I've sort of done that. And then what I've done is I've built a little barricade using some dark bluish gray elements that I got off my pick a brick wall um, all the way around, sort of casing this area. And I think it has, acts as a nice barricade. So sort of defining that this is water and this is sort of grounds where uh, minifigs can walk about. And then I've topped those dark bluish gray bricks. Uh, they're actually two by four and two by six with some one by three tiles and then the one by four modified tiles with the two studs. So I think that gives it a nice texture, a nice sort of grooveled sort of look. Now, one other uh, main structure here, which is in the uh, Ninjago area is the Temple of Air Jitsu, which is right over there, and we're going to have a look at that next. So, coming around the back side here, we can see the Temple of Air Jitsu. The main structure is sitting right there, and I've actually broken the two other structures uh, off. So, there's the two, I forget what they are, but little market and like a little fishing shack or something like that. I've broken them off the temple itself uh, so that they are uh, serviced by a long wooden bridge that. Br uh, goes from the main area here in the Ninjago district and then sort of flows in through there. And I've also took the time to modify the bridge or the walkway or the staircase right here in the temple so that it uh, can be accessed from that wooden bridge. Obviously I had to modify it because these buildings used to be on either side 
and then that statue that's over there was in front. So I've, I've slightly modified that set and I still have to take the time to sort of blend it all in a little bit better as well. So I really like the way that these structures sort of look um, and the way that they're um, themed in here to the Ninjago district or sort of worked into the Ninjago district. Now one thing I have to do is I want to make the water consistent. So in the Ninjago city sets they've done a really good job by using different layers of plates and uh, trans blue tiles that you can see all in here to give sort of different depth to the water. And I think once I order, I don't even know, a few hundred or more, maybe 500 of those one by two trans blue pieces and I tile this whole area here, it's going to work really nicely because it's going to give different depths of water. So I'll probably put a layer of plates and then some more of those one by two trans blue pieces throughout as well. So here we can see the backside of Ninjago City. And that's what I was saying earlier. I really like how you can see, the, like the way it's placed right now, you can really see uh, this uh, structure from all different angles from the Lego room because the backside of this set or these sets is absolutely uh, brilliant as well. Uh, you have the extension of these little docks here. You have the little market. You got the ladders and staircases going up. Just the architecture itself in this set. And these sets are uh, very brilliant and I like to, be, like to be able to see them from all sides. Then I got the two little fishing boats. This one here came with uh, Ninjago City and this one came with uh, the Ninjago City docks. And those are sort of just sort of floating around here doing some fishing in the upper water reservoir, uh, which hosts the Ninjago buildings. And then that water was reservoir there flows down here, the waterfall into the beach and sort of recreational area. And then right here we have the cabins just below along with the cliff edge and the beach and whatnot. So I really do think that this is the uh, start to something pretty special here because I think that these buildings are placed properly and now I just have to work on all the details um, uh, around this area. Now in regards to the train track right here, you can see that I have actually plated uh, this with green plates sort of indicate grass rather than water that used to be water and it didn't really make sense because trains don't really float <laughs> so I decided to make that look like grass and I continued that dark bluish gray burcade sort of separating the grass from the water. So I think that is a nice touch and sort of adds to the detail of the overall Ninjago city. And then for now, I've just mounted that uh, statue that came with the Temple of Air Jitsu right there. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. And once I get those other vendors throughout here, it'll start to really come together, especially once I tile that water with some one by two trans blue pieces as well. Let's hop to the other side here and take a look at the roadway. So on this side here, we can see the roadway, which uh, leads up to the Ninjago district. And that just comes right up here and over here and then this here I've just used a, a crossroad plate uh, intending that the vehicles can drive up and sort of loop drop people off and then loop back down I haven't really implemented a parking lot or like a traffic type circle thing here yet um, but I do plan on doing something there I've seen some unique ways of building uh, sort of looped or loops here sort of like you can come and park on the side and then loop back down, but I don't really have space for a parking lot, unfortunately. But I think for the means of, of what it is now, I think it looks pretty good. And there's a lot more work to be done here, but I think uh, once I get some, some more ideas and suggestions and thoughts and take everything into consideration, I can maybe build a little bit of a parking lot or something here a little more permanent. Then you can see I've actually taken some more elements right here from the Temple of uh, Air Jitsu and I've made this little arch that goes over top of the entrance to that wooden bridge which leads you to the temple and the little shacks there as well. So that's really about it for today. I just really wanted to show you guys the progress that I've made here in the Ninjago district in the Lego city and also share with you some of the plans that I have for this area for improving it in the near future. 
Let me know what you guys think of the placements of these buildings. And also let me know if you guys have any suggestions or ideas for this brilliant little area here because I'm becoming a huge fan of uh, Lego Ninjago sets. Now, uh, side note here, I know they are going to be issuing another uh, building that links onto these modular buildings uh, because I do see... I have heard it from fellow YouTubers and, and Lego enthusiasts, and I also do see the holes here, the Technic holes, where you can actually add another building. There's one there, and then there's one on the end of the docks as well. So I think that uh, there's probably going to be another structure that I'm going to have to integrate into this area sometime in the near future as well. That's really about it for today, though, guys. I do appreciate the view, and uh, have yourselves a great day and a happy new year and a Merry Christmas if I don't uh, talk to you uh, before then. Thanks a lot for the view. You guys have a good day. Mm -hmm.